Hi, and welcome to this Pay Tomorrow training video. This is going to be how to run a loan. So this is what your uh, salespeople will, will do to uh, have a merchant or a consumer apply. So the first thing you want to do is go to paytomorrow.com, click on the login button in the top right-hand corner, put in the credentials that we supplied to you in your store, username and password, it'll bring you to the dashboard. Uh, since we're going to be doing an application, this is really the only um, icon we care about. So we're going to go ahead and click new app. Your... Um, you don't have that organization button because you will have your own store there. This is just the test account. Go ahead and put the consumer's first and last name in, as well as the last four of their social. Um, we are only asking for the last four since we don't want to put your consumers in a situation or your salespeople in a situation where they're asking for personal information. Mobile device, this is real important. Um, it needs to be the mobile phone of the consumer. We use it to validate the consumer as well as they're going to receive uh, the security code and the applications through this device. So you put that in there. Email address needs to be their email address as well. Um, I'm going to have to change this one. Driver's license. Your consumer is going to need to have two pieces of information. They're going to need a photo ID driver's license as well as a bank-issued debit card. No credit cards, no prepaid cards. Um, pull the, ask the consumer to hand the two to, um, pieces of information to your salesperson. They're going to validate the name and the picture on there is the, actually the person that's applying. They're going to click that button there. Last four digits of the consumer's um, debit card. And this is important for when um, your consumer is actually making their first payment at, at when they're when they're finalizing their loan. They did that on their own device, so we need to make sure that the um, debit card that they are uh, that we're validating here at point of sale is the same debit card that they're going to use to make that first payment. So we need to have the last four. You're going to validate and verify that the name matches the person that's standing in front of you as well. So make sure the name on the debit card is the person. You're going to ver verify the consumer. What will happen now is you will see your consumer um, is going to receive an SMS code. So you need to go ahead and say, Mr. Smith, please check your phone. Let me do this real quick. I can see it's come through. My verification code is 407137. Verify. Okay, your consumer is validated, verified, and pre-approved for sixty-five hundred dollars. So your consumer is going to know how much they're going to they're able to spend. Um, theoretically, they can go shopping at this point, or that you can just continue on with the application. Now we're going to put the consumer's um, home address in here, and home address, home phone, and work phone. Item descriptions, brand, doesn't matter, model, quantity, let's say two and thousand dollars. So you're going to add that. All right. If you want to um, add your shipping and sales tax, you can do at that point. If you want to remove something, you can click there. If you want to add more line items, you just simply add the description and hit add, and it'll go to the bottom and add it up. Um, at this point, you have two options for your consumer to see their offers. You can view it on the screen that you're sitting on you know, with the consumer, or you can automatically send it to them right away, just directly to them to, for them to review on their own device. So let's just look at it here. Um, you're going to see that your offers come up. They have, in this particular instance, we have four different offers, a 6, 12, um, 18, and 24-month terms. You can see stage one and stage two. More details, as I'm sure you know, our loan is a two-stage contract. Stage one is the first stage. In this particular one, it's nine months. Um, they're going to pay $156 for the first nine months, so they're going to pay $156 today, which would be their first monthly payment, then eight more, um, and then stage one is complete. After stage one, your consumer has a choice. They can either return the product to pay tomorrow and have no more have no further obligation to make any other payments, or they can simply let it roll over to stage two. Um, and we'll just continue making payments. And this one is $155, so it will always go down in price um, for nine more payments, and then the product is theirs. Okay. So um, if you have any other questions about this first, the, the two stage contract, please contact your sales rep and they will be happy to uh, get you more details on it. So the consumer likes that one. 
then you're going to send it to the consumer to complete electronically. All right. So now your customer um, will get the application on their own device. Okay, so now your consumer should have received their um, applications both as a text and an email. In this demonstration, I'll just use the email. So they're going to open up the email, and it's going to say, congratulations. Click here to finalize your purchase. This is going to happen, like I mentioned, most likely on your consumer's phone um, or smart smartphone that they have in the showroom. But if not, they can do access at email. So those, those th um, four offers that were showing up on our side now show up on theirs. They're going to go ahead and decide, let's go ahead and select this offer. So again, your consumer is going to do this. Um, your purchase for 2000 is approved. Here are the payments that we had talked about, stage one and stage two. They're going to have to click that they agree to the um, stage one contract and agree, uh, click to agree that they, um, the stage two contract. They're also going to click to agree to our privacy terms and conditions, accept the terms. So now they're going to go ahead and make their first payment. Again, through a debit card, we're going to validate that that um, is the same card that they use to verify, that you use to verify that point of sale. So the last one, one, you know, th the th four ones was the same that they put in. So everything should go through. They're going to click and pay. Congratulations. Enjoy your purchase. So it is simply that, that easy. If you go back to your list, you'll see that she is approved here. Let me log back in. And she should be funded. There you go. She is funded. So once you see it funded, you know the... the um, the money is on its way for you. It should take anywhere between two to three business days for it to hit your account, but the consumer can leave with the product um, as you have it uh, labeled as funded. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, please call your account rep if you have any other further questions and thank you for using pay tomorrow.